common database performance issues fall into one of two categories. Either they are something affecting general database-wide performance or they are query-specific. Database-wide issues can be caused by a bottleneck with some form of resource such as CPU, I.O., memory, network or processors, a database misconfiguration of some type, a database hang of some form or possibly a bug. Query specific issues can be caused by expensive SQL where the structure of the query forces it to take a long time or poor query optimization. This can be caused by things such as incorrect indexes, stale statistics and unexpected changes in execution plan and so forth. When starting database performance tuning, use this as a mental model to narrow down on the root cause. The basic fixed flow steps for database performance tuning are 1. Use Oracle Autonomous Health Framework, AHF, to collect database performance diagnostics. 2. Use AHF Insights to compare your configuration against best practices. Find and fix any database anomalies and identify and resolve any resource bottlenecks. 3. Understand and protect against noisy neighbours using AHF balance, particularly in consolidated environments. Use AHF diagnostics to identify and tune poor performing database workloads. It's important to understand that database performance tuning is often an iterative exercise, meaning you'll fix one issue and find your bottleneck now moves to another part of the system. This may mean you need to repeat steps one through four several times. If you still need help, then step five is to log a new service request with Oracle support using the latest AHF diagnostic collection. In the first step, we're going to use AHF to generate a database performance diagnostic collection. The Autonomous Health Framework, or AHF, provides a series of capabilities aimed at making it easy for you to maintain your database. It's the same technology Oracle uses in the Oracle Cloud to keep the autonomous database running, and it's available for you at no extra cost as part of your existing software support agreement. You can download AHF by logging into My Oracle Support and searching for AHF, or you can use the short link shown on your screen to go directly to the download page. AHF capability we'll use here is the Diagnostic Data Collection. AHF is capable of collecting many different types of diagnostic collections, with problem-specific service request data collections being one of them. Before AHF, Oracle support would ask you to go through many different steps as part of service request data collection for database performance problems. This would involve collecting and trimming different logs and running scripts, and to understand how to perform it correctly required watching a video and reading other knowledge documents. Now, using AHF to generate a performance request diagnostic collection, you log into the machine where the database performance problem occurred, and as the Oracle user run the command, tfactl diag collect dash srdc db perf dash database and the database name. AHF will prompt if you have a performance issue now, and then guide you through a series of collections and answers so it can collect all the necessary diagnostics. With that done, sit back while AHF goes to work collecting everything required. Once it's finished, AHF will package everything for you in a zip file for each machine. It's worth noting here that in this example, although AHF has generated a zip for each machine, most of the time you're only going to need the zip from the machine where you initiated the collect. In the second step, we're going to use AHF Insights, which is within the collection you just generated to understand how your configuration compares against best practices, if there are any database anomalies or resource bottlenecks. Transfer the diagnostic zip from the machine where you initiated the collection to a machine with a web browser and unzip it. Within here, you'll find another zip containing AHF Insights. Extract that and open the index file contained within it. AHF Insights provides you a bird's eye view of your entire system. You can use it to spot problems, drill down into the root cause and understand how to resolve things. First, we'll look for any relevant configuration problems to see if you've drifted from Oracle best practice. So you click on the best practice issues to drill down. The summary provides an overview of where your system has strayed from best practice and the relative severity. As you scroll down, you'll see specific configuration issues. Look down through the list of issues and see if you find anything that may be relevant. If you find something that looks like it could be related to performance, expand it to see the recommendation. Every best practice check explains the impact and risk of this configuration drift along with the repair steps. Next, we'll go back to the summary and look at the Database Anomalies Advisor. AHF uses artificial intelligence to detect unusual events and recommend solutions. 
In this scenario, IHF has detected a number of unusual events suggesting the database and host I.O. is slow. From here, we can go back out to the home screen to explore the operating system metrics. From the summary screen, click on the operating system issues and we can drill down to understand OS bottlenecks. In this example, we can see IHF has detected the Oracle processes were blocked in D state, which means they were stuck waiting for I.O. to return. We also see some disks had a long wait time. Expanding this shows us statistics about the disk wait times. We can see graphs of the disk wait times are displayed. Scrolling further down, we see problematic snapshots. This one shows us which disks were slow. Here we have a different scenario looking at anomalies IHF has detected. In this case, we see the latency for database global cache messages is higher than expected. IHF tells us the cause and recommended action. From this, we know CPU is a bottleneck. Going back to the OS issues report page in this scenario shows us a finding for high CPU usage. Expanding that finding shows us details about when the CPU usage was high. As we scroll down, we see CPU usage over time. Continuing down shows us the CPU usage for different processes. Here we see the database background and foreground processes are consuming an average of 70% CPU and a max of over 90% CPU. This third step is only applicable if you've had repeated database performance problems on a host with multiple other databases and the host shows periods with more than 70% CPU usage. In this step, we'll check for noisy neighbors. In generic terms, a noisy neighbor is when one service consumes a larger than expected share of system resources, which can impact the performance of other services. IHF can detect noisy database neighbors based on CPU usage. IHF uses the Oracle Enterprise Manager repository as a source of historical data for CPU consumption. So configure IHF to connect to this repository by running IHF configuration set, dash dash type impact, provide the username for the EM user and the connect string of where the repository is. You'll be prompted for the EM user password. Once that's configured, you can generate a cluster analysis report by running AHF analysis create dash dash type impact dash dash scope cluster and then the name of your cluster. This is a report generated by AHF balance, which gives you a summary the first section in this report gives you a summary of your current noisy neighbor exposure and impact versus what it would be if you set the recommended CPU counts. The next graph down shows the current noisy neighbor status over the past month versus what it would have been with the recommended CPU count. Anywhere with a black line indicates a database was impacted by a noisy neighbor. As you hover over the graph, these controls appear which allow you to zoom in and pan around the data. Use this to understand if the black lines correlate with times you've had performance problems. If you do, then use the rest of the report to drill down further by database or machine and understand the changes recommended for you to make to CPU count across your various databases. This fourth step uses more of the diagnostics you captured to identify and tune poor performing database workloads. Looking at the same collection that was used previously for the high CPU utilization example, you can find a perfub HTML file. Opening this gives you the database performance hub report with details about database workload. The first thing to understand is what your active sessions are doing. An active session is one actively working on behalf of the client. By default, the performance hub report opens on the ASH, which is the active session history data, which is a database feature that samples active database sessions. You can expand the graph to get a better look. Here we can see our highest weight class is CPU, which tells us the database is CPU bound. Looking at the SQL ID by weight class graph, we can identify SQL that are candidates for tuning. So let's collapse the graph again and take a look at the ADDM tab. ADDM stands for Automatic Database Diagnostic Monitor. The ADDM tab analyzes the data in AWR, the Automatic Workload Repository, and provides options to resolve performance problems. Click into one of the findings to get a recommendation. The recommendation will tell you what to change and give you an estimated benefit. You can use this table to identify any particular SQL statements that have long running duration. Once identified, you can focus on tuning their individual performance. 
article has a whole documentation guide on this, which you can find at bit.ly slash tune SQL. Work through that guide to understand how the query optimizer works and how to improve execution times. If you still need help, then the final step is to log a service request with Oracle support using the AHF diagnostic collection. Log into my Oracle support, choose the service request tab, click the create technical SR button, complete all the required service request fields. When you come to the problem type, make sure you select the option to create an express service request. This is a fast track service request creation route using an IHF collection. Follow the rest of the steps, including uploading the collection, and that's it. Oracle support will take over and help resolve your problem. If you haven't already, download IHF today. Log into my Oracle support and search for IHF, or just go to the bit.ly link shown on your screen, bit.ly slash Oracle IHF to go directly to the download page. Thank you.